What's up guys? It's Bianca of BiancaRoberts.com back again. And the subject of today's video is how I get 100 leads a month from TikTok. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Okay, so let's get right into it. How do I generate 100 leads a month from TikTok? I'm gonna tell you right up front, I don't run any ads. I don't um, post anything on Craigslist. I don't do any of the things that I hear or see other real estate agents do to promote their business. Specifically, I'm an apartment locator, but the method and the strategy can be used for any type of business. So basically what I do is I go on TikTok and since my audience is interested in renting, or that's basically the reason that I went viral the first time was um, basically from this video. Let me show it to you. I'm not going to put press play on it, but this is viral, my first viral video. And just when I say viral, I mean anything that has over 10,000 views. So I'm a member of a community called My Lead System Pro. And My Lead System Pro technically teaches people how to be internet marketers. It doesn't matter what inter industry you're in. They basically just teach you how to be a marketer online. Now, their audience, full disclosure, is really geared toward people who are in MLM or network marketing. I have no issues. I'm not against people that are in network marketing. But when I experienced going through their system, I realized that what they teach literally could be laid on top of real estate. So what do I mean by that? Well, MLSP basically uses a lot of language that they say things like upline. But if you replace that word upline with broker, it literally is the same thing. The light bulb went off in my head and I was like, even though MLSP is talking to network marketers, I can talk to renters, I can talk to fellow real estate agents and basically apply the principles that they teach to my business. So when I say it's similar to being with a broker, what will happen is as a real estate agent, you get a replicated website that every real estate agent gets who signs up with that particular company. And usually you'll have some type of fee that you have to pay the broker monthly, some type of desk fee, or sometimes they'll label it as a marketing fee simply because you're with that brokerage. So whether you make a sale or not, you are funneling money to the broker. It's the same thing for MLM or network marketing. You usually have a product or something that you like, and whether you make a sale or not, you still have to pay a monthly auto ship or you pay some type of fee to, in order to maintain that relationship. You get a replicated website, just like real estate agents get a replicated website. And I'm going to show you that. So let's just say I'm with Keller Williams. Uh, let me see Keller Williams. I'm just going to pull up so you can see I'm just doing this real time. I'm going to pull up uh, Keller Williams in the Atlanta area. And so if I'm going here, usually websites like this are also given to everyone in the Keller Williams, you know, heading. So if I'm a real estate agent, most agents will do something like buy their name. Like my name is BiancaRoberts.com. So a real estate agent signs up with Keller Williams. And the only thing that they do in order to quote unquote brand themselves is they pick I don't know, BiancaSalesHomes.com. And then they take the replicated website that they received from Keller Williams and they point people to that website. So if someone says, hey, Bianca, what's your website? 
and I picked Bianca Roberts or BiancaSalesHomes.com, then that person is going to get this generic replicated site with properties on it. There's nothing compelling here. There's nothing that would say to me, um, I want to work with this agent. There's nothing available. No shade to any of these people if that's the case. So I'm just going to click on, let's just click on Janet. I don't know what Janet's site would look like. Oh, her site can be reached. And you see when I clicked on it, it was like a, a generic Janet sells such and such. Again, I'm just trying to point out no shade to anyone in, uh, in particular. This person doesn't have a website. Let's click on Aaron. Trying to show you the philosophy of what I do differently all because of this system called MLSP. So here you go. Erin has this replicated website and I don't blame her because usually there's a lot of money that you're forking over before you're a real estate agent. And so if I purchased this domain or I got quote unquote my website from Keller Williams, I mean, there's nothing here that will entice someone to really want to contact you. They're, they do have this contact button here, interested, let's talk, but interested about what? And again, I'm just pointing out that every agent who signs on with the mega brokerage will get a duplicated, replicated website like this. So what I learned from MLSP and my years of studying internet marketing is especially online, people want to receive something. You know, have to give a little before you get anything. And there's nothing on here that's telling me, does she really work with buyers? Does she work with sellers? What is her specific interest? So we'll get off of Aaron. And so what I did was in the MLSP system, they're always talking about how you have to point to your audience's pains. And so what would be a pain for someone trying to move in an apartment? If you have an issue like a broken lease, uh, you have bad credit. These are things that will go over in your mind where you're thinking about renting again. Specifically, the pain points that I pointed at were moving quickly, uh, having low credit, having broken lease, etc. So this video right here is my first viral video. And you can see with the words that are popping up over my head, I'm basically calling out pain points. So this video is the one that set the whole thing on fire. I wasn't expecting to go viral. I was just applying the principles that MLSP teaches, which is point to the pain points or point to the things that bother your audience. From here, my whole business exploded. I had emails coming in from everywhere, DMs from all over the country for people trying to figure out how I could help them move. So then I took it one step further and I created what's called a lead magnet. And if you go to my website, this is a lead magnet. You see where it says big black letters, click here. A lot of real estate agents don't go this far, meaning they will buy their, their name, BiancaRoberts.com, and maybe they'll have a static page if they don't use the company's replicated website. I went a little bit deeper, and I literally have my own branded website with a blog and everything on it. So then when someone goes and clicks on my bio on TikTok, these are all these videos I've made, but they'll click here on my bio, on my link tree. Um, from desktop, it gives me a warning. I might want to change it. But anyway, they click on my link tree and it gives them these options. And they're going to click on one of these things. Typically, they either click here on BiancaRoberts.com, which takes them right back to my branded website, or they click on this one, need a Texas apartment and schedule an appointment with me, or they click on the free move to Texas guide. This sucker right here, this is my lead generator. I literally get 100 leads a month just from this. So how do you do that? Well, in the MLSP system, I basically took one of what's called a capture page, one of their generic capture pages, 
I created it to fit the audience that I wanted to attract to me. So if someone goes to my website, they click here. It says, what can I expect when moving to the Lone Star State? Download my free guide. They click here and they get my guide. That in turn takes them into my Lead System Pro CRM or my Customer Relationship Manager. That prospect is automatically added and then I am able to follow up with them. As you can see, I have 911 total leads that are in my system right now. The CRM allows you to label someone based on how they came into the system. So I know this person downloaded my Texas guide. So if I click on prospects, I will be able to search by Texas guide. MLSP is constantly downloading into our brains that what you want to do online is allow people to know, like, and trust you. So in order for people to know, like, and trust you, they're going to need to see who you are. They're going to need to hear your voice. And the easiest way to do that is via video. A lot of agents don't do any videos that will attract their ideal client. You have the opportunity when you're online to attract people to you that you would be interested in working with. I work with renters, specifically I'm an apartment locator, and instead of hiding behind properties and putting up photos of properties with dollar amounts on them, I just got out of my comfort zone and I allowed people to get to know me via social media. Even though TikTok are really short videos, I do infuse my personality in them. And that has helped me with my business. Do I post property photos? Absolutely. When I'm kind of tired, as a matter of fact, I had COVID for several weeks and I got back on the horse and I'm making videos again. When you have uh, what I call content that's working for you 24 seven, like something on YouTube, like videos on TikTok, that allows me to take it easy a little bit sometimes. I don't have to post up a video every week. As a matter of fact, I'm really slacking right now and I'm several weeks in between posts on TikTok. But the overall um, sum up of what I do is I put content on TikTok that points to issues my ideal audience has. Those issues make them go and check me out, which everyone does online. And because I know that if I had a static site that only showed pictures of properties and there was only two options, either to look at some pretty pictures or click away, most people are going to click away. They're not going to give you or fill out a contact form if they don't know what the contact form is about. Yes, you could say, well, it's real estate. Obviously, they know what the contact form is about, but that's not necessarily the case. I am specifically telling my audience, I can help you with your issues to get into an apartment. So when they go to my website and I'm offering them something for free that they can download until they're ready, that allows me the opportunity to send out blast emails and reach out to them every once in a while, giving them something before they make a decision to have me be their agent. That is it in a nutshell. Please like, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.